What up, people? It's your boy Woody Triple Two coming at you with another video. I know I dropped one yesterday, but I was expecting this BBTS uh, pilot loot haul tomorrow, but it showed up early. And I also got another package from Hasbro, so you know me. I like to share, like, comment, share, subscribe. Finger bang. Um. Anyway, back on topic. So, what was I saying? Oh, I'm gonna show this BBTS haul first. Let me go through these Hasbro uh, outlet purchases that I got first. You know, I'm all in if you've been watching my videos on these uh, Spider-Man retro carded figures. I'm definitely gonna open them. I haven't opened them all yet. I'm waiting to build up a bunch. I think I got like 16, 17, 18 of them now, including the double box sets. So, I got over 20 something figures, but I gotta make a trip to Ikea this weekend, get some more shelving for this uh, office that I moved into. All my Marvel, uh, Star Wars, and Ghostbusters are gonna stay up here and down in the basement's just gonna be G.I. Joe classified, G.I. Joe A-R-A-H, but I have one shelf with five tiers on it. Um, Motu and TMN. That's going to be downstairs. And I figured out what I'm going to do for my collection video. Quick update. I'm going to do it in two parts. I'm going to do the downstairs. Then I'm going to come up into the office because the office ain't really ready yet. Like I said before, I wasn't ready for 100 subscribers in three weeks or whatever it was. I was thinking it was going to take three months, three years, something like that. So I'm definitely going to get on it, though. Don't worry if you're hanging around subscribe just for that hopefully not but it will be coming around and also i looked at the numbers the other day i don't be looking at that a lot because that shit will drive you crazy but i'm up to like 147 subscribers so if you're watching this get me to that 150 mark please um that'll be a good milestone i think 150 every 50 subs will be a good milestone for me Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content and everything I'm doing so far. But anyways, let's get back into these figures. So these are the first four Spider-Man retro figures I got there right there. Chasm, I think is how you say this dude's name. Like I said, I'm, I'm not really a big Spider-Man head. I like the villains way more than I like the uh, uh, Spider-Man and all his different variants. Don't ask me who this is. I know there's like a Ben Riley Spider-Man. There's a Peter Parker. I think there's a couple other ones. I just, I don't know about that. I'm learning as I collect. So I got this guy. These are all under $19 too on um, the outlet on Hasbro Pulse. They came in today. I got Electra Natios Daredevil out edition. So she's pretty cool. She got her size. I, I like. I know who Elektra is. She was just part of the line for some reason. I think her and Daredevil. I gotta go back and get all the like first three waves. I got some of them, but the first three waves are pretty expensive. So I gotta shell out some some coin, as the kids say, for that. I got Jessica Drew, Spider Woman. Like I said, I don't know all the variants of Spider Man. I just got her basically because. She was like 17 bucks or something. I think the most expensive one was that Daredevil when I was 19. So if you're looking for these figures, go check them out. Hasbro Outlet. Definitely worth a, a peek every couple of days because they're still adding shit to that as we speak. And I got this Miles Morales. This movie was pretty dope. I like this movie. Don't mind the glare in my phone right there. You see the phone? I'm still using the phone. I have to get a mic and some better lights and then I'm gonna learn to edit way better and then I'm gonna do it like that, like down south with the mic and me sitting there. I'll do all that after I learn to edit. You guys are just gonna have to put up with me on my iPhone for now. Look at the little red record button right there. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, he's just part of that line. I'm all in on that line, as you know. All right, I got this big ass box from BBTS. Let me uh, turn the camera around and show you guys real quick. And then I'm gonna 
cut it, get the box all set, and then I'll be back with the magic of editing. All right, here's the box all cut open. I'm gonna move it over here to the desk and I'll be back in a second real quick to show you what's in it. I think there's 40 figures in there. Like I said in the video yesterday, they only put 40 figures per box. I had 43. So I got the three Turtles of Grayskull yesterday and uh, we'll see what's in here. I kind of forget, like I said, it builds up and I gotta go check and ship this shit as the days are running down. Magic editing one more time. Welcome back, people. I'm gonna run through this real quick because I don't want this video to be too long. I gotta go get ready. Well, not get ready, but I wanna eat dinner and stuff first. Crow's having a Legend series on tonight live, so I definitely wanna check that out. Tony's my boy. Crow, I love what he does. I love how eccentric he is, and now he's always not really off the wall, just himself, man. It's nothing more real to me than just being yourself. I mean, keep it real, as they used to say on the Chappelle show. Hopefully it doesn't go wrong. Let me move this. I don't even know where I'm gonna put all these figures because I'm just gonna start tossing them on the floor, man. I got no room. This desk is gonna be all blocked up. But I got Hollow's Eve for Spider-Man. I'll add her to that collection. She was just built up in my pile of loot. I had to pay full price for her, obviously. I'll try to go through and see who's a discount and who's not, but this was definitely a full price. They got 24, 95 or whatever it is. So she'll be going to the Spider-Man shelf when I do make it. Shout out to the Skelf, my boy, down South 77. I got this Joker Batman figure. He'll go on my my um, Joker shelf because I just love the Joker. I got a couple of t-shirts you'll see in like videos upcoming. Some is coming, you notice I got the V-neck on. It's like summery up here in Rhode Island. It's like 70, so that's basically 90 for me because I'm a hot kind of person. I'm always hot. I'm running. I run hot. But I got this guy. He'll go on the, sh the shelf. That's up here as well. I picked up this hologram Iron Man. I think this was like six bucks or something. I mean, BBTS, David Bales, you cannot beat. If you love figures like I do, you cannot beat the, the prices on there. You just got to check it every day. Who on my Iron Man shelf? I don't know what that bear head is. A lot of these figures in here, and I'm starting to remember Legends, and I'm going to, uh, certain ones I wanted to build the, the figure. I didn't really want the figure, but I wanted to build the figure that is included, the part that comes inside. But this guy's definitely going on my shelf. I'm never going to sell them. I always say I'm going to sell these figures, but I don't. I mean, I just got bins and piles of figures that oh i want this figure because it has a bear head in it so i i buy it what else we got here what if heist nebula i wanted this because i'm definitely trying to build this figure the the watcher that marvel figure is dope i seen it at the toy store all built for like 70 bucks but i think i got two parts for it in here and then i got a couple more in my pile of loot but they weren't due yet to, to ship so this is the cape for the watcher i don't this figure will end up somewhere probably in a bin because it's i do collect mcu figures and she's not from nebula's from the mcu but not this version so i i got the bald version that was actually from the guardians of the galaxy movie on my mcu shelf what do we got here knight of ren like I said, I'm into Star Wars, just the Sith, the troopers, and, you know, cherry-picking the Jedis. I didn't get none of them other new Jedis. Speaking of new releases, uh, if everybody didn't know, if you're into Origins, the new Cobra, I forgot his name, but he dropped yesterday, so go pre-order. He's all black and green. He looks pretty dope, and he glows in the dark, some of them. So if you got a glow in the dark shelf like a lot of us, you got to pick him up. He's a little more pricey because he's a deluxe. I think he was $29.99, but he's on BBTS right now. I don't fuck with en Entertainment Earth, man. They just take forever. I'm still waiting for five uh, Arctic snow baths from them, and it's been a, a year. They just, every month, they switch the month. 
So I ordered them from BBTS too, but they've been switching the months the last couple months. So Hasbro, get on your game, man. Get those uh, Arctic bats out there, please. People are waiting for them. I got five on order. I got another five from Entertainment Earth, but whoever comes first and the other five are getting canceled. Just want to build up, you know, my any kind of army builder, I get five of at least minimum. But that Night Creeper that just came out, I ordered 10 of them. Uh, Nerd Zoic had the case. So I ordered, actually I got 11, that's great. 12, cause two in the box and 10 to, to rock on the Night Creeper, that's crazy. I don't even realize what I'm doing, I got a problem. I got this Hercules figure, this was literally $5.51 or something, I mean, I don't even, mess with Hercules like that, but it is Marvel. I'll find a place for him. Technically, he was in the Marvel movies. He was in the last door for like two seconds, but this ain't the, the real life version of the dude. So he, he might end up on that shelf actually, because he does look kind of realistic. Doesn't look like the dude that played him, but the dude had the same outfit on. He had that weapon and everything. So he'll probably end up on the Marvel uh, MCU shelf. Oh, yeah. Elite Squad, Stormtrooper, Bad Batch. Like I said, I mess with Stormtroopers. Sorry about that glare from the phone, man, but I just can't do nothing else right now. This is all I'm comfortable with on the phone. I gotta get my oldest. She works a lot, though. She's a letter carrier for the USPS. Not in this city, though. Different city. But anyway, I got this. It's all black Stormtrooper, basically, if you can't tell from the glare. Another five, no, I think he was like 990s or something. They have weird prices. It's always like 10, 52, 9, 61, like certain percentage off. I got this Everett Ross. I needed this for my MCU shelf. I mean, if they're in the movie for two seconds, they get a, and they got to figure they're uh, ending up on that shelf. It's not a shelf, I should say. It's a whole bookcase, basically. I got so far, you'll see that when I do the office tour. That's because that's up here behind me. It's got the Atuma part in it. I'll just add it. I got a bin of builder figure parts that I don't use. Sometimes I want to build the figure. Sometimes I don't I like throw them all in there and then I'll decide if I want to build it. I already built this guy because he was in the movie. Dummy me, I paid for the leg that's in this. For, oh no, the arm. I got the arm. I paid for the arm. And I didn't realize I had this in my pile of loot. So that's what I get, jumping the gun, man. Like an extra arm. I might have to build a second one if the figures end up cheap enough. I know this wave was at Ollie's and I think it, some of them are still there. More Marvel Legends. What if zombie Iron Man, he's gonna go on my Iron Man shelf. I never really wanted this figure, but like I said, if they're six bucks or whatever, I'm, I'm grabbing it and I need the Iron Man. Oh, he's got the Khonshu build a figure. I definitely want to build this guy. I have like an, a leg and a arm right now. Oh, he don't have a part. I hate when they do that, when they, the, the first figure in the wave don't have a part because you they know people are going to buy Iron Man. So they put all the parts in Jimmy Woo, Loki, Zombie Scarlet Witch. She probably got the head yet. Nope, she got the leg. They always put the head in somebody that you don't want to buy and they know you need the head. And also, I got this, I saw this. I didn't even know this was a real character, but people have been saying, like my first video I ever did, I'm like, oh, I sound like a frog. People always been saying since high school when my voice, well, before junior high, when my voice changed, they were like, damn, man, you sound like a frog. So I saw this on there for like $6 and this is now the official mascot of my channel. He's gonna be in the background or in the foreground of all my videos. Marvel's Frogman. I didn't even know this was a real thing. There's like a little dude in there. You see the eyes, it's like what kind of villain just wears <laughs> a frog helmet and robs banks or something? But this is hilarious to me, man. And yeah, like I said, he's the official mascot of this channel now because we probably have the same voice. I never heard him talk, but I'm gonna have to YouTube them and see if there's any like audio clips of what this dude sounds like. I know he's Frogman obviously because he's dressed like a frog, but I wonder if he sounds like one too. That'd be dope. So yeah, new mascot. That's the only reason I picked that up. 
He ain't gonna end up on no shelf. He'll end up on my desk staring at me every time I make a video. I picked this up because I missed these at Ollie's. I never, I didn't miss them. I never found them because I just want the blast effects, man. I see him Savage Land he uses these blast effects all the time. I, I wanted that big explosion because I do want to, I got the table thing now. So I want to make it look like Cobra Troopers are dead all on the ground and this is in the middle. And I got some blood effects on the way too that I ordered off eBay. Cause I've never really gotten into blood with my poses and stuff, but now I I see Savage Land doing work with like the blood effects. I definitely want to get into them. They got like the little sticky you can stick it on the guy like he got shot. It looks pretty cool. Another Joker DC. I'm trying to avoid that glare for you guys if you can tell, but that's he's all bloodied up. I didn't have this one DC on. If you're into DC. You got to check the Davey deals every day. They got $5 DC on there every other day. You just got to make sure you don't have the figure. <clears throat> oh, I got a couple of um, vintage VTC, vintage collection Star Wars. I got the Armorer. Like I said, I'm I'm only into Stormtroopers, Sith, and some Jedi, but I'll make a little. I almost got the whole Mandalorian wave for under $20, these were like $5 a piece on there. So I, I grabbed the armor up, what else did I grab? Oh, this is the retro third sister, There, she's a Sith. So the Sith, I've got the retro, the vintage and the black series if they have it. So this will go on my Sith um, vintage shelf. Now I'm running out of room over here already. More Star Wars, three more. Got Yoda, because he's definitely an essential Jedi. This is vintage, so it has the articulation. This is Empire Strikes Back, Yoda. He's an essential Jedi, you gotta have him. The Child, vintage collection, you gotta have him. If you got, like I said, I picked up a lot of the Mandalorian figures they were on clearance on BBTS, man. Um, fifth Brother. Obi-Wan Kenobi, them Inquisitors were just dope to me. That was the dopest part of the show. And obviously the fight scene between him and Vader, that was the illest, but the second illest was the Sith Grand Inquisitors. Well, there's a Grand Inquisitor and then the rest is an eight more. I think they're just the regular Inquisitors. I got a lot of them in this box. I'm starting to remember now. Here we go. Inquisitor, the fourth sister of the Black Series one. Under ten dollars, man. I had to grab it. Like I said, I'm into the Sith. Really into the Sith. Cobra, same thing with GI Joe. I just like the bad guys, man. It's I'm an awesome dude, though. That's what's crazy. Why is it all the good guys like the bad guys? Um, the Grand Inquisitor from Kenobi got him. Like I said, I have like two of these, I think, already. So. I don't even know if they made figures for all nine of them, but we'll find out. I'll do some research and get back to you on that. But he's the leader. I love their lightsabers and how they was they could spin if they wanted them to. That was just dope to me. I liked Kenobi. A lot of people didn't, I hear, but I don't really pay attention to that. I like what I like. More Star Wars. I had to get this. This is, this looked like it was expensive when it first came out, but it was like $18 on the BBTS clearance. I love the case too, man. It's like a book. Vader, Return of the Jedi, all white, like fire to me. Just pure fire. I can't wait to open this guy, put him on my Sith shelf. He's gonna go front and center because he's all white. You know, the Sith wear mostly all black. So he, I'm, debating if I should even open that because the box is ridiculous. Like I like, I'll save the box and stuff, but it, they just end up in the closet. They don't get displayed. I kind of want to display that and maybe cock it open or something. I got this. These were at Ollie's. I missed them, but I got the Ollie's price off BBTS. You got to have a Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Hoth scene. I mean, I wish they made a Black Series at, at. that should be a, um, their next HasLab, if they do, yeah, they do HasLabs for Star Wars, definitely. But also too on BBTS, you can get the damaged ones. Like 
this one's damaged right here. It's cracked, so they took like two dollars off. I mean, I'm opening this stuff anyway, so it was like seven bucks, and then they have the defected one for five. So always check that, scroll down and check to see if they have the damaged one, if you're gonna just open these cheap figures anyway. A couple more Star Wars, what do I got here? Fourth Brother, I like this is an Inquisitor set right here. I got him in the retro and then I got him in the Black Series too, just another day. I think I got one day they had the retros all cheap and the next day they had the Black Series all cheap. So I grabbed them, put them in my cart. Got the third sister, Reva. She was a cool character, man. I definitely liked her in that series. Um, her story, her backstory was pretty dope. If you haven't checked that out, that series, definitely watch it. I got He-Man cartoon collection. Like I said before, these stay in the package. So these I paid full price for and mint unpunched because these are just, it's literally like two shades, different color than the He-Man Origins figure, but those are the actual cartoon ones. Oh, I got Anti-Eternia He-Man, I didn't have this guy. I'm still questioning this guy, but he's part of the line, so I gotta have him. He's getting open, this is getting open because it's not a cartoon edition. Don't mind that noise, I just gotta drop them on the floor. I'm like surrounded by boxes, just not on, on screen. Um, cartoon Collection Skeletor, like I said, this was another full price one. I just needed this unpunched and minty card so that it can sit in, my, in the case and just, I can stare at it. <laughs> I got some Joes in here finally, they're at the bottom of the box. I got my collector grade Techno Viper. Most people will know, if you new to the channel, I collect two to stock, one to rock minimum. So that will be my second one to stock. I always buy one collector grade from BBTS because they're like $3 more, so they're 28 bucks a piece. But I know it's gonna be mint. BBTS don't mess around when you pay that extra money. They sent you, they send you the best boxes ever. The corners aren't even, folded wrong or, or anything. I got my uh, collector grade Airborne. Like I said, and they even, once I open this box, they come in another plastic bag. I try to leave them in the bag and I case all my figures that I, protective case all my figures that uh, I leave on my shelves in box. You'll see when I do my collection, I've spent a ton of money on just protective cases. <laughs> Never mind these figures that are in them. Sorry about the slams, but I just gotta stop piling these up on the floor. Uh, Hoth Luke, definitely needed him. Like I said, I wanna make that scene. If they ever come out with at at for um, Black Series, it don't gotta be like scale, just scale it down like two scales or something. Make it like one 14th or something, just big enough that these figures don't look crappy in them. Can't leave figures right here. I'll, pretty soon it'll be like you'll just see a hat. <laughs> oh, and Bobby, this hat's for you, buddy. I know you always peeping my hats and stuff. So, what I'm gonna do is try to in a, every video I'm gonna try to wear a different hat till I run out of hats. So that'll be a while. I wish I showed my shoes and, and stuff on here because I always, you know, I'm a old school dude from early 20s and the 2000s, so my hat matched my sneakers at all times. This is how it is. Uh, collector grade big boa. I don't, I ended up with like five big boas for some reason, I don't know. I'm gonna give one to my daughter for her little collection she got in her room. She don't got every figure. She's like cherry picking. I mean, she's gonna get all these figures when I die anyway, so she knows that. But I still go out and buy her more, but I don't count those ones in my book, so. I got hundreds in the book and she's got 40 or 50 in her room that she's like, oh, I want that one, so I'll get an extra one. Then some she doesn't, she wants them all, but she knows that she has them downstairs. All right, what else we got here? Oh, nice. Last Ronin, I'm all in on this line too. Casey Jones, this is a new figure. I just paid full price for this, but I missed this on Walmart. 
for some reason it was a Walmart exclusive, but BBTS ended up with it. So he's definitely getting opened going on my last Ronin shelf. About to play dominoes over here. This last Ronin, I have the unarmored one. This is the armored one. So I definitely need them both because they make them. There's a red one out there too, like all red. I seen it at Walmart. I just didn't grab it at the time. I went back and it was gone. I didn't have my action figure funds on me at the time. So, like I said, I got this one. This one is the same one. It just doesn't have all the arrows sticking out of it, but I like the other one better because it shows like he's was in battle with, he's got like nine or 10 arrows and one through his calf. I mean, it's dope. If you haven't picked up that figure, that, that line is dope, get into it. Um, Iron Man 3, Happy and Iron Man. I want to say I have this gold Iron Man, but I needed the Happy, and this was on clearance for $19 or something. I mean, this set was originally like 50 bucks, I would assume, so I needed the Happy, so I grabbed Happy because he was in a Marvel movie, so I definitely needed him. <coughs> uh, X-Men, who's this? Marvel's Omega Sentinel. I don't know who this is, but I'm trying to build this Tri-Sentinel that is in this package. And like I said, this was, I love Sentinels. And this is another form of a Sentinel. So I definitely want to build this. They had some pretty cool figures in this wave. I got that Magneto, so that's what started me on this Build-A-Figure journey. And uh, I'll probably just pick up the rest of the parts because I don't really want, I might try to get that brown Wolverine, that brown suit Wolverine in this line. Oh, but he don't even have a part, so never mind. I don't need him. I got enough brown suit Wolverines. Whoa, that's tipping already. Oh, this figure was... I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to have to start another shelf. Like I said, I'm going to Ikea this weekend to get just shelving. I'm going to fill my truck up with shelving. But Marvel's Mystique from the movie. Rebecca Romaine Stamos, I think was her name. But this figure... I mean, this was... Four dollars, people. You can't beat it. And she has like an arm, like she's changing. That's pretty cool. I'm probably gonna put that on there because I liked that in that movie when it first came out. When she changed, it went brrr, it went up her arm like dominoes. It was a pretty cool effect for uh, the 2000 when that movie came out. This is the only Marvel movie I've never seen. Or the show. It's a show, actually, no movie, but. I'm trying to build this Infinity Ultron. I got like the arms and the legs. Now all I need is the head. And this was $5. I mean, can't beat it. Plus she was in the movie, so I got to put her on my shelf, I guess. I mean, I'm not happy about it, <laughs> but I, I got to do it. Plus I want this Infinity Ultron torso. So uh, she's going, she's going to make the display because she had four seconds in a TV show for Marvel Disney crap. Same with this guy, like I got the vision already, but I, he was in the show for like two seconds. This was uh, the bad division she created or something, if I remember right, he was all white. Plus he has parts for a build a figure. I'm trying to build a uh, um, Captain America wings set for Sam. I definitely, I have the figure, but you, they didn't give you the wings and everything. You gotta buy the, see he's part of the wave but oh, you had to buy everybody to build his wings, which was stupid, but I want the wings on him. Plus I they, they came out with one, I think a few months ago. I didn't really like it. I like this wing set better. Oh, down to the last six figures. We're almost done people. Here he is right here, Sam Wilson. He just comes with the little backpack piece, but all the wings and everything are separate. So I think I got the Zemo, I got Scarlet Witch. I just got the vision. I got to get Loki. I have US Agent. Loki and the Winter Soldier I got to get, and then I can complete that wing set for him. Um, Magneto, Age of Apocalypse Magneto, because it's Magneto, I mean. Besides, I know he's Marvel, but MCU, he's my favorite villain. Magneto was the man, X-Men 97 when I was a kid, and the show now, I mean. 
I like how they're showing a different side to Magneto. So damn, this video is running 24 minutes already. By the time I add the other parts and everything, it'll be like a half hour. So hopefully people stick with me. Don't fast forward through it. Get my watch hours up. So I got him real quick. He was at Ollie's, missed him. Cause I was like, I don't need him. King Valkyrie, like I said, I could pass on the character, but she was in the movie and my shelf's gonna be incomplete to a completionist like me. I gotta have her, plus she got Korg. I got a Korg that came with the uh, two, two, box, two figure set, but I'll just add that head to the um, pile of build a figure parts with it. Maybe I could trade or something to somebody one day. Let me know if you need a Korg head, hit me up for a trade. I got a bunch of build a figure parts too, so leave me a comment if you need a build a figure part, like just a complete one. I might have it and I'll hook, I'll hook it up or something. Domino, she's gonna go with my uh, Deadpool. Five dollars, I mean, can't be, look at the box. The box is worth five dollars. Well, she was a good character in the movie. I wish they came out with all the other dudes that died, the uh, X-Force, that would have been dope. Winter Soldier, like I said, I, I had all these in here. He's got another part of the wing, so that's cool. You guys will see all these open and everything in my first. Well, they, these will be in my second collection video because all, all these fakers except the Joes and the Motu are staying up here, so I'm definitely gonna do the video I'm gonna shoot for like Sunday night. So that way I don't have nothing to do for work, get ready for work, shoot the video, and then I don't have to worry about doing it after work because that's probably gonna be like an hour long. If I gotta zoom in on every figure I got down there, it's gonna take a minute. But I got Prof Charles Xavier, Professor X, not the, the one I want. I want the one with the hover chair, but that's like 60 bucks. And plus I don't like the color gold. Like why did it have to be gold? Why couldn't it be silver? So I'm gonna wait and see if they re-release them in a different, somebody, I think I heard Mega J talking about they're gonna re-release that one day and because a lot of people missed out on it and they wanted it. So I hope they change the color of the chair to silver like it was. Then I'll definitely cop it. Plus the gold one, I mean, $100 for that, that's crazy. But I ain't paying that for Charles Xavier, I'll just wait. But this figure had the arm of the Tri-Sentinel I wanna build in here. So for this one, I just need Mora, McTaggart, Cyclops, and Marvel Girl. But like I said, I'll probably just buy those parts off eBay to be cheap unless they pop up on BBTS. Come on, BBTS, hook, hook me up. All right, people, that's all. I'm going to say peace real quick. Get out of here. Thanks for sticking around this long. Much appreciated. Like I said earlier, I'm at the 147 or 148. Give me the 150, please, so I can check that milestone off my journey on YouTube. Thank you. Peace.